morning everybody it's not really morning anymore it's afternoon almost evening but i got unloaded and now i have to head to drummondville quebec a little bit of a wait we had to do some hunting from what I hear to get some good freight out of here I'm gonna have another LTL load going back to Manitoba or going back west anyway LTL stands for less than truck load so I have three pickups I believe that'll fill up my old trailer that'll make one truck load if it was just one pickup that would fill up the whole trailer that would be called a full truck load FTL LTL is a little bit more work because you got to go to different locations like I got three pickups But you can make more with them If you do it right Usually yeah, it's well, usually the more work you put in the more money you should make that makes sense, right? But this is our option for now We're gonna take it Let's get going I stayed here at this Petro Pass in Mississauga just around the corner from where I had to deliver. It took, uh, uh, it took a couple hours to deliver. It was, it was much later than eight o'clock. They got a hold of me and said, well, you know, the appointment said for eight o'clock, but they also said the appointment for like five other trucks was eight o'clock as well. So since I was just around the corner here, I was able to sort of just hang around and wait until they were ready for me and then go and quickly get unloaded there. After I got unloaded, I was able to come back here. I got a, I snuck in a little bit of a nap. That doesn't happen too often. So I'm all fired up, ready to go now. We've got to head to Drummondville, Quebec, and that is seven hours from here, at least. The problem with that is, it's rush hour now in Toronto. And I'm in Mississauga, which is sort of the same city as Toronto, but I'm gonna to have to go out of Mississauga through Toronto to get out of the city and go towards Montreal. Drummondville, Quebec is on the other side of Montreal from where I am right now, so we gotta go past Montreal. And we gotta leave the city here and it's rush hour and everybody else is getting into their cars right now at this very moment, I can feel it. And they're all getting ready to leave work and go home. And they're all gonna get out onto the roads and crowd it up for me. Am I too dirty? I washed this thing twice already. I keep, I guess when I have my gloves on, I keep touching like my straps and stuff, get my hands dirty and then I adjust my toque. And it ends up getting dirty. So excuse my uh, dirty appearance. It is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna grab a coffee. And we're gonna go tackle this uh, Toronto traffic. Hooray! I was right down by Lake Ontario, like right down by the lake in Mississauga, so I have the whole city to get through yet. And I just thought of something, like I went and got a coffee, a nice big coffee, right? So I was like, yeah, this'll get me through the city. Then I started thinking, this is Toronto. If I drink all this coffee, I'm really gonna have to go to the bathroom long before I get out of the city. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I made sure the tank was empty when I left, but I don't know if we're gonna get out of Toronto before we have to make an emergency stop. We'll 500 meters, take the entrance to the ride on Q, Toronto. I already paid for the coffee, so I'm gonna drink it. I'm not gonna waste it. Don't worry about having a full tank In later. 500 meters, take the entrance to the ride on. Toronto. That's one piece of advice I can give to drivers getting out here on the road when you know you're coming into a big city with a lot of traffic and no bathroom stops. Be careful how much water you intake or how much liquid you drink. Because remember what you put in has got to come out sooner or later. And if you're in the middle of traffic, you can't just stop and go to the bathroom. The highways and interstates in New York in the city there are built better and they make more sense. Here in Toronto, Mississauga, this whole area here, you have the 401, the 407. The 407 no one uses because that's a toll road. So everyone's on the 401, including myself. You got one highway stretching through the entire city and every resident of Eastern Canada, by what it seems like, is on that highway with you at the same time. And everybody gets frustrated. 
longer you're in traffic, the more people get frustrated. And you can tell by the way they drive around you. <laughs> Be very careful. Signals are optional. Not legally, but uh, in most people's minds, here signals are optional. You've got to keep that in mind. And uh, if there's enough space to fit a golf cart between you and the vehicle in front of you, you can count on someone sticking their nose in there and forcing their way in. So this is pretty good right now. We're moving pretty good. We're getting right up to Mississauga City Center now. Once we get through there, uh, we'll jump up onto 427. That'll take us up to the 401. I believe. Do I got those numbers right? The 401? Yeah, right? I don't know why I had a brain fart right there. Whatever. It's all Toronto. It is a beautiful city. You know, I gotta give them that. I don't, I don't wanna hate on them too much. A lot of you guys live here too, and you guys are awesome people. Majority of the people here are great people. Like I said earlier in this clip though, I'm a prairie boy, so I like the open spaces, you know? I'll take the smell of manure every morning over the sound of traffic, sirens and horns, you know? Oh, here we go, here we go, here comes the brake lights. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it was too good to be true. I didn't want to say it out loud, but I, I thought we were moving pretty good. I said it out loud, and now look what I did. Looks like they're expanding this highway here too, so probably making it better. But you know, Toronto's growing so fast, because people, when they move to Canada, most of them move to Toronto, right? A lot of them do. And the city is uh, growing in people faster than it's growing in infrastructure. So, you know, they'll expand the highway to seven lanes each direction, right? But, but by the time they get that done, there's so many more people here that they need eight lanes or ten lanes in every direction. It's a constant battle. There's not enough homes for everybody. At 100 meters, turn left on. Dixon Road in that. Turn right in 160 meters. It's sort of that way across the entire country, though, right? That's what a big uh, a big problem we have right now is that there's not enough homes for all the people coming to Canada. Turn left on Lynch Air Avenue. Karen, what are you talking about? Wake up! I'm not turning left. Where am I going to turn left? She wants me to turn left. Really, Karen? She thinks I'm on the side street over there on the other side of that fence to our left. You got to figure it out now. Continue on this road for six kilometers. Yeah, yeah, we're still on the QEW here, Karen. Put the bottle down. Come on. I need a reliable navigator in here. I don't have diesel with me anymore, so Karen gets me lost all the time.
We made it! We escaped! We're out of Toronto, and we're at uh, the rest area here. Uh, first one that I saw, anyway, I don't think I missed one. Uh, first one towards Montreal. Just outside of the whole Greater Toronto area. I had a little Petro Pass truck stop coffee before I left the city. It was a little baby, like, well, that wasn't that, it was a bigger one. Yeah, it's a bigger one, but it wasn't the greatest. Okay, cars that way, trucks this way. Oh, okay. Usually the trucks would go right. Why are we, oh, that's confusing. Look at these guys. Look at the, why are you parked in the driveway, my, my guy? Buddy, look. That is, uh... Continue on this road for 193 kilometers. Literally no parking signs all over here, man. Come on. Both of you. Watch your doing. What you doing? Parking is back here. Hopefully there's a parking spot. I mean, oh, there's lots. Why are you parked up? You know what? They didn't want to walk. They didn't want to walk from back here. That's why. Lazy. Oh, tons of parking. Tons. Look at this place. Oh man. Right, right back. You know what? Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna go in here. Yep. I mean, I don't like walking either. I'll park as close as I can, but I'll, I'm gonna park in a parking spot. we go look at that look at that I'm not gonna end up on anybody's YouTube channel what's this guy doing parking here nope not me and look the building is right here it's actually closer than where that guy parked over there I'm gonna have to walk less distance than they did so maybe that's not the reason they I don't know I don't know they're clearly, obviously, way more important than any of us. Because any of us parking in a no parking zone in a driveway, we'd get a ticket, but they're special. <laughs> ah, welcome to the vlog, everybody. Would it be a vlog if I didn't complain about something? If I didn't call out someone for doing something weird? It's kind of what I do. So I've been really good lately. I've eaten pretty good, you know. Gone on a few walks. I think I've been behaving myself. The reason I say all of this is there's a Burger King in there. <laughs> what do you think? You guys think I earned a Burger King burger? A Burger King meal? Too bad it's not an A&W. My favorite fast food, if we're gonna talk fast food, a and W. I love the Papa Burger combo. No pickles. Get those disgusting things off my burger. Papa Burger. No pickles. Onion rings. A and W onion rings. There's no match for them. And A and W root beer. Mmm. But there's no A and W here. There is a Burger King though, and I haven't had fast food in a little while. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Don't follow my example. Eat healthy. You know, you see a lot of these, what we call pikes, 253 foot trailers. You see a lot of them on the prairies where I'm from, right? They do them here on the 401 too, on the corridor between, I believe, Toronto and Montreal. I'm not as familiar with it out here. I'm not from Eastern Canada. But uh, it must be a lot more stressful doing that here than on the prairies. On the prairies, you've seen it. That's where I live. There's nobody there. Probably more cows than people, right? Definitely more chickens than people. I love chickens. Now I'm hungry for chicken. Anyway. What is this guy doing fly 
flashing his lights at me. The truck driver behind me flashing his lights. Who's he flashing them at? This guy flashing his lights in a mirror. is on the right. I see it. Thank you, Google. We're at the Esso in Drummondville. Or Drummond? Drummondville? What's it called again? I think it's Drummondville. Drummondville, Quebec. I have uh, my first of three pickups in town here tomorrow. We have arrived. Let's see if we can find a parking spot out back. I've never been to this truck stop before, but I found it on Trucker Path. So here we are. Let's see if we can find a parking spot. According to the app, there's usually always parking available. 
I already see a couple of spots right over there. I, I think I see the one I'm gonna take. Oh yeah, lots of spots. Look at this, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I never knew this place was here. How many times have I driven past this place? No idea it was here, so thanks Trucker Path. Shout out to you guys. Right here.